The design process starts with the very first step is identify a problem. And in some of the other Project Lead the Way courses, we kind of give them what the problem is, but engineering, design, and development, the capstone ca class is unique in that they get to pick the problem they want to work on and the problem they want to solve. I wanted to pick something that could help with human exploration. So originally our group came together and we had in mind that we wanted to help third world developing nations in some way, whether it was generating energy to power a light bulb or just any simple way that could improve their quality of life. The goal of our project was to develop a solution to help lower the rate of people running uh, yellow lights, running red lights and trying to ultimately prevent accidents from happening. We decided to focus or to narrow our focus to shoulder injuries, being that Lauren, my partner, and I both actually have struggled with shoulder injuries in the past. And what we had both noticed due to our own shoulder injuries is that there really wasn't a place to suitably set up and use a TheraBand, which is like a stretchy device used for physical therapy. We ended up making a a product similar to a pedometer, but instead of it counting steps, it's generating energy just by a person walking. So what we wanted to do was design a system that would allow for the TheraBands to be attached at any different heights. You could do any number of different exercises from overhead to waist level to from the ground exercises just from one system. Our end product, it was just an addition that you would add to a stoplight and that would be wired into it. It would just sit next to the yellow light so that it would be clear that it was just, just for the yellow light, kind of like a yellow LED, you know, so it wouldn't, the colors wouldn't confuse anybody. You wouldn't be adding anything new except for the timer and it would just count down how long the light before it would change to uh, red. Unbound magnetic shielding which utilizes two concentric coplanar solenoids wrapped about a toroidal habitable volume. I guess you could say the broad goal is to advance our society's ability to explore the stars. The Innovation Portal is just a, uh, it's an online portfolio where you can keep track of all your progress throughout the design process. So the Innovation Portal is very helpful in that it allows a clear and concise way to view the organization and the progression of events. Separation of the elements on the Innovation Portal was very helpful to us in making sure that we were filling out every little aspect of the design process that we needed to be following. They can go through and fill the elements and keep themselves organized and I think that's hugely important for, for a high school student that's looking to move on uh, to the university level. The innovation portal just kind of set up a checklist of things that needed to be included. We included more components because of the innovation portal than we would have were we just doing it on our own. So there's always something to do that you can go back and add. It's a living document, so it's not like you finish A, B, C, and you never touch them again. You can go back, always, and add to it until you're ready to submit. The Innovation Portal is great for showcasing your work as it allows you to implant the different aspects of your project, like text and pictures, graphs, charts, all sorts of data, including attaching PDF documents and other relative files through a clear and refined interface. It's so user-friendly that uh, Whatever they have done to make it that way, kids love it. They are not afraid of it. Having a physical notebook, it's nice too for organization. I carry it around. It just it helped me develop organizational skills. You know, how to write clear, make sure anything that I want to say it's conveyed. You know, effectively. But having the the online portfolio is nice because other people can have access to that too, and I don't have to physically be with them for them to be able to access it. Students put in so many different unique projects into the innovation portal. In the past, it could be really hard to find who's the right mentor, who can bring the expertise to take this project to the next level or to answer a student's questions. What the innovation portal does is it gives the student entree into engaging with the right expert and going out and being able to find who that is that can help, help them with their project, that they can share their work and they can, they can learn from and continue to do so. It doesn't have to be someone that's right there at their doorstep. They're opening it up across the country with the Innovation Portal. So one of the things that I really think is neat about the Innovation Portal is the students can get instant feedback from professionals who work with these concepts on a day-to-day -day basis. So it, it, it's, you know, I guess a form of social media where these ideas can be communicated almost instantaneously and the feedback can be given real time so there's no delay in that learning process. I feel like I'm ahead of my peers just from taking these classes. I have, you know, just a taste of what engineering is about. And having the rubric that goes with it, that has really improved what I do as a teacher. 
because before I would kind of look at their work a little less critically, like I'd read through it, I'd say they do a really good job on that, but I didn't have a set criteria to evaluate it against. But then with a rubric, I could say, well, it's good, but you kind of miss this point and this point and this point and this point, so go back and rethink this. When the kids know that this is a tool to achieve what they want to achieve, whether it's to get into certain schools or to get a scholarship or to be recognized and identified beyond a rank and a grade point average, I think it's a pretty good tool. Right now. I don't know of anyone that's better. I think it's important for the kids in, in the high school area because you know those are the skills that they're going to need not just to get into college but to get into the professional world. We can absolutely tell when new engineers come into our company the, the kids who have been through programs like this versus the kids who haven't. The more kids that are involved in this curriculum, the more kids that are doing innovative problem solving, I think the better student body we have, uh, the better preparation we have for the future. Chevron sees our investment in the Innovation Portal not just as an investment in one program. This is an investment in helping to ensure that we're able to train tomorrow's innovators, tomorrow's leaders. So as we go to more problem-based learning, we have to have things like the Innovation Portal and the electronic portfolios in order to capture the whole story, not just the end result.